have my work adapted for the screen is something that's been a dream that I haven't even thought about consciously um, because it's something that I, I really don't know how to do. I know how to write. I think I'm good at it. I don't know how to make pictures move around. I don't know how to make movies. And the idea that these stories, Babylon Sisters and What Looks Like Crazy on an Ordinary Day, which are, I think, very visual stories, could come alive in another medium is so exciting to me. And one of the things that really um, was just a part of it that made it seem real to me was that I would have a chance to work with um, someone who is a very good friend of mine, Ayoka Chinzera, who is a wonderful filmmaker who has such an eye for bringing stories to the screen that actually go deeper than what you think you're going to see. I've known Pearl for years and she's a writer whose works I've been following for a long time. Part of my interest in wanting to adapt Pearl's novels for film is that I'm very aware in American cinema uh, what we have and what we don't have. And I think that you can tell a lot about a country by what you see in its national cinema and also what's absent. Clearly we have a lot absent in American cinema. And I think Pearl's work offers us a really rich and unique opportunity for a fuller expression of not only the lives of African American people, but again, what it means to be a person in this world grappling with so many different kinds of issues. I was very excited about having an opportunity to work with someone who could look at this book, look at these two books, and see that there was certainly a story that was going to move you along, the plot was going to take you along, but also that I'm talking about a whole lot of other things that need to come forward in these characters, that need to come forward in these stories. I was looking for an extended vision, uh, in particular visions of uh, very interesting multi-layered men and women uh, from African American communities where there was thinking about uh, certain kinds of themes, themes of love, themes of loss, themes of romance, and also someone whose uh, artistic, creative, and political uh, vision I admired.